What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Chelsea won, Arsenal won, and overall, I'm happy with that result. Um, Arsenal, very good side. That was their strongest side. That was their hardest, the best team they could put out, possibly. Odegaard was back, Rice was back, Saka was there, Havertz up front. Um, yeah, um, we did all right against them for the majority. The first half was poor. We defended really well. Both sides defended really well, in my opinion. A cut, only really a few chances so we can talk about really and that they fell to um, Martinelli after we're trying to pass out from the back again and we try and pass out from the back and majority of the time we get it wrong and we get caught and they get giveaway chances one fell to Martinelli and yeah he should have done better really side foot to a good save from Sanchez who redeems himself after trying to pass out from the back again um, we had one chance in the first half. Gusto needs to head the ball with your forehead, not the top of your head. Your dread, your dreads. Um, yeah, what was that? Awful. Should have scored. An absolute sitter. Should have been one nil right there. Other than that, um, Havertz had a goal disallowed for offside, rightfully so. But it was a poor first half. Second half, not much better really. Arsenal came out a little bit stronger, looking to press Chelsea. Um, they find a way through. Yes, they do. Um, and it is Martinelli, and it is terrible defending. Why are we trying to play the offside trap there, right on the edge of the box, and just leaving about three players on the other side, absolutely free, with no man there. There's Martinelli, there's Saka. Why are we not marking those players? The ball gets played across to him, and he's got ages, ages to pick a spot, and he picks the near post. And Robert Sanchez, what are you doing? You should be saving. He just waves an arm at it. And then, yeah, you, you ain't saving that. 1 0 Arsenal, and you're thinking 1 0 to the Arsenal. They're going to sit back, they're going to sit in, they're going to be hard to break down. And they were. We, we didn't look like we were creating much. I've got to say, Cole Palmer today was not at it. They questioned his fitness before the game. And for me, he didn't look fully fit. He didn't look at it. He didn't look his usual self today. There were a few poor touches, a few free kicks in the first half where he just smashed it at the wall. Couple of corners where he couldn't beat the first man. His touch at times was poor. I think I saw one ball from him today, which was half decent, but he played it to the wrong guy. Jackson was through, and he should have played it to him, but he played it out wide. Other than that, Cole Palmer today was not on song. It was not his game today, and you can't expect him to carry this team. But who stepped up instead? And it's good to see other players stepping up. Madaweki again, non-existent on the right. Non-existent Madaweki. We've got to start calling him. But when we shift Neto out onto the left, we bring Enzo onto the pitch because Lavia today was all right winning the ball back. But going forward, there was just no creativity in the midfield whatsoever. Whatsoever. So we brought on Enzo Fernandez and straight away, boom, he finds Neto, gets a bit of space, finds Neto. Neto cuts in and smashes the ball into the bottom corner. No chance for David Rea. With one all, we're back in the game. And it looks like we could actually edge this. You never know if we can create a few more chances, but we don't. Uh, Mudrik comes on the left, doesn't do a lot, tries to run past players, but doesn't get past anyone. Um, Neto is our best player by far in attacking situations. He was one of the better players today for me. Uh, but at the back man of the match had to be Mark Kukurea. Um, how is he not our first choice left back every fucking game? He was fucking amazing today. Locked up sack. I locked up anyone that came near that left hand side. Mark Kukurea was there. Every time he, how is he not our captain as well? I pick him to be our captain. The desire, the effort, the energy, the output from the guy, everything he does is fantastic. Mark Kukrea is my leader in this team. He really is. He was brilliant today. He's a leader. He's our choice for my, for me, for my captain. Kurt Kaiseido today led the was the captain today, and he was all right again in midfield, dominant in midfield, run the show in midfield against a good Arsenal midfield in Thomas Partey and Declan Rice, and he stepped up to the mark in my opinion for the majority. Um, but yeah, the creativity wasn't really there going forward. That was the only problem. I think. A, a draw is a fair result overall. It doesn't help both teams really going for the title. And that's what the main aim is. It's got to be really. It's going for that title. Trying to get in amongst those northern bastards and try and break it up. One London club's got to win it at some point, surely. Uh, we can't keep the, 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 the trophy can't stay up north for too much longer. As for Arsenal, second half, they didn't, they didn't have a lot really, in my opinion. They got the goal and that was it. They... Didn't really offer a lot. I was expecting a lot more from the Arsenal. I thought this was the team that's supposed to be challenging for the league. And we're still above them. We're still third in the league going into this international break. And 
Coming back, we've got Leicester next. They've got Forest next. That's a difficult tie for them. Overall, though, I'm happy with the, this result. Not overly pleased, but we didn't lose. Um, we didn't give away the, the game in the second half. When we went down 1-0 down, our heads didn't drop, and we didn't con capitulate completely. Um, we actually fought back, found a way back, and got back into the game yet again. Very similar to last week's game, I believe, against United again today. A poor f Arsenal, let's have it right, in poor form, but this was their strongest side. They were there for the taking, maybe, at Stamford Bridge today. We haven't beaten them at Stamford Bridge in so fucking long. It's getting embarrassing now. Um, but overall, I'm not disappointed in the result. I'm just disappointed in some of the players today. They just didn't turn up. I.e. Cole Palmer today wasn't at it today. Maybe, like I said, maybe he wasn't fully fit. But why is he playing then? Why was Nkunku? Why is Jal Felix not allowed a chance? Arthur drubbing Noah. Noah in his arc 8-0 the other day. Ah, none of those players are allowed to come on the pitch. We bring on Mudrick. Doesn't do a lot. But, and Nkunku doesn't do a lot. Jal Felix ain't getting a sniff. And where's Jaden Sancho disappeared to? Have we terminated his loan? Anyway, third in the league, not disappointed. We go into the international break. It's Leicester next. Um, at home, early Saturday kickoff, so that'll be all right, really. Um, we never do well after international breaks. We never do well on a Saturday early in kickoff, so uh, it's not looking good, really, is it? But Leicester haven't been that great. It's, it's Maresca. It's the Maresca derby. Um, we'll see what happens, shall we? Um, overall, it's 1-0. Stopping Arsenal from getting anywhere near the title again, I suppose that's a bonus. And we stay above them as well, I suppose that's a bonus. Put more pressure on Mikel Arteta, I suppose that's a bonus. And Maresca's doing all right. Um, my only gripes are playing out from the back, we're not very good at it. And at times, defending is a bit shocking. Yeah, it really is. We give away far too many silly free kicks and silly chances um, through defending. And overall, not the best. But overall... I am pleased and let me know what you think down below. If you're new around, if you're a Chelsea fan, please smash that subscribe button. Help me get to a thousand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Up the Chelsea.